In this video, we're going to look at the differentiation of a to the power of x. So here we've got y equals a to the power of x. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply ln to both sides. So that gives us ln y equals ln a to the power of x. So whenever we've got a power on a log, it can jump to the front because ln means log e so we've got log e a x so the power can jump to the front so we've got ln y equals x ln a now we're going to differentiate this implicitly so we're going to differentiate ln y with respect to x so if we differentiate it normally we get 1 over y and then we times by y differentiated, which is dy dx. And here we've got x ln a. Remember, ln a is just a number, so it's like differentiating 2x, which would be 2, or 3x, which would be 3. ln ax is just ln a. So now we want dy dx equal, so we multiply both sides by y. So dy dx is y ln a, and we can change y back to a to the power of x, because y equals a to the power of x. So dy dx is a x ln a. So dy dx is a x ln a. So this is what you need to remember. So if y equals a to the power of x, dy dx equals a x ln a so that is a result that you need to know okay here we've got some questions i'm going to write that result in the top corner so if y equals a to the power of x dy dx is a to the power of x ln a so here we've got y equals 2 to the power of x so dy dx, all we're doing here is replacing a with 2. So dy dx is 2 to the power of x, ln 2. In question 2, we've got a 4 times 5 to the power of x, but 4 is just a number, it's just a constant. So dy dx is going to be 4 times 5 to the power of x, differentiated which is 5 to the power of x ln 5 and we can leave our answer like that for question 3 we've got two functions multiplied together so it's a product rule which means we say u is x v is 5 to the power of x so du dx is 1 and dv dx is 5 to the power of x ln 5 so that means dy dx is u dv dx which is x times 5 to the power of x ln 5 plus v du dx which is 5 to the power of x and there's our answer okay so three more questions here pause the video Give them a go and then press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so question one, we've got y equals 6 to the power of x. So dy dx is 6 to the power of x ln 6. Question two, we've got 2 times 4 to the power of x. So dy dx is 2 times... 4 to the power of x, ln 4. And question 3 is the product rule. So we've got u as 2x cubed, v as 8 to the power of x, which means du dx is 6x squared, and dv dx is 8 to the power of x, ln 8. So dy dx it's going to be u dv dx, which is 2x cubed 
times 8 to the power of x ln 8 plus v du dx, which is 6x squared times 8 to the power of x.